Good morning, agents. I hope you had one hell of a sleep because today is going to be a nightmare. Where's Agent Redhead? Why don't you ask Agent Albino? Since that is his partner. Correct you are, Agent Plant. Just where's your partner, Agent Albino? That idiot. I told her to come early. She never obeys my commands. Even though I'm not the rookie, she is. Chief Igneous, you've got to do something about this. Yes, yes. She is a rookie. But she is still your responsibility, Agent Albino. I will not allow her to be late one more time, or you're both off my team. I cannot have that type of risk. What's up, all my lovely, lovely agents? Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, Chief. Late again. You know how it is, morning rush and such. I brought a nice, nice coffee. Oh, it's really great. You want some albino? You don't know how badly I want to whip you across this table right now. I'm guessing you're not a fan of espresso. Hmm. Get yourself. <sighs> that tastes delicious. Seriously, anyone want to try some? Ignoring Agent's redhead at lateness and comments, Agent Ginger, will you please? Oh, of course, Chief Igneous. There you go. Alright, you see this fluffy cute pink lamb on screen? Her name is Michelle Adams. And she went missing about two days ago. If she's simply missing, Chief, why can't the local police force deal with something like this? I am so glad you asked. Agent Brunette, this is about the six sheep to go missing this month, and the rest of them have ended up murdered. We found their bodies in various locations, but we presume the killer is near. Now, we need to find the sheep before her body gets found. Not to mention that she is pregnant. And her husband is awaiting the baby. So we must have not lose two lives. I will now assign positions for today. Agent Blonde, Agent Dirty Blonde, you're visiting the husband. Get anything you can out of him. And if you refuse, send him back here. What? Oh, sorry to speak up like this, Chief, but I believe me and Albina would do a better job together. Agent Dirty Blonde, this is not a poppy show for your crush experience, okay? This is real life. You and Blonde make a great team, and I know you guys will investigate good. Plus, Agent Albino will be dealing with Redhead. You two will be at the salon she runs. Get any questions out of the workers and any motives or any anything basically don't come here empty-handed this is warning is for you redhead one more slip up and i'm sorry i'm gonna have to cut you from the team <gasps> that's funny me slipping up are you kidding i got this chief come on albino <sighs> albino keep that girl out of trouble and get that stupid lip piercing off her we're trying to look professional here. Yes, Chief. Understood. Agent Ginger and Agent Raven, you guys will be working together, gathering any information of her account activities online, credit cards, social media, anything. Just find something online that we can work with. Because right now we have nothing. Affirmative, Chief. You... Expect nothing but the best from the most infamous hackers on the team. Agent Brunette, you are with me for today until we find a new partner for you. Alright, units. Leave. Come on. Let's go. Chop, chop. Get to work. Brunette, if you will. 
Of course, Chief, right away. Alright. I'll start hacking into her social media accounts, looking at her salon posts and such. And you can look at her credit card activity. Okay? I got you. A simple job like this should be easy. Alright. Alright, redhead, we are going to go in there normally, act normal, pull out our badges, ask questions, no more barging in there. You heard the chief, she will kick you off the team if we mess this up. And take out that piercing, we're on duty. <laughs> you just said duty. <sighs> I don't have to take my piercings out. Agent Blonde has piercings as well on her ears, not on her lip. You know damn well that that's against the rules. Well, Agent Albino, if you didn't know by now, I'm a rule baker. I'm a rebel. Why else did you think I became a cop? Or rather, FBI agent. We're wasting time. Come on, follow my lead, alright? <laughs> Sorry, Albino, but I'm a leader, not a follower. Oh, my dog, that girl. <laughs> Your fur is looking absolutely amazing, miss. Pink was a great choice of fur dye. I can't believe he said that to you. I mean, I would have straight up divorced him right there. You ever thought about that? Miss, you cannot go back there without an appointment! FBI, honey. My badge is my appointment. Now, he, who here is co-ownership of this here salon? That would be me, miss, but as you can see, I'm a bit busy here, so can you come back later when the salon is closed? <sighs> This is a serious matter. Close the salon right now. In fact, everyone out. Ma'am, I expect your authority, but right now we're working and we just can't- Apparently, you didn't hear me correctly. I said out. Alright, madam. I'm, I'm so sorry, miss. You could have a for a refund, but we have to get out of here now. Are you serious right now? I'd pay good money for this fur dye, and you... Police officers like you make me sick. You were successful in one thing, droving all my customers away. Now what do you need? Agent Redhead. Oh, Agent Albino, you finally caught up. Now, I was just about to get questioning this raccoon over here. Just about? Just about to do what? Abuse your authority? Redhead, we've talked about this. We haven't talked about anything. And to the looks of me, I'm not the rookie here. You are. You've gotta use force when you're FBI like this. Did you not know that? We have to save a life. Two lives, in fact. It doesn't mean you have to come in your guns a-blazing. 
My gun is still on its carrier. Thank you very much. Just move out of my way. I am so sorry about my partner, madam. But can we ask you a few questions? Can you sit down right there? Let us ask you a few questions about the owner, Michelle. Fine. But I hope you're willing to pay. You just drove tons of customers out of my building, and I don't appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. Terribly sorry about that. And it will be coming out of someone's paycheck. Puh. Like I care. Okay, ma'am. Will you be able to tell us about Michelle and why she left her establishment to you? She left the salon to me since we were basically best friends and we decided to work with each other and get the salon here. She is taking time off because of her pregnancy and the baby is expected. I can't wait to see it. I see. Miss, when did she decide to take this time off? And who told you this? Her husband came in around two days ago. He told us that she would be out for a while because of the pregnancy. <sighs> I really want to see that baby boy. Ooh, she better be cute. I see. Did Michelle say anything else about her love life? Was it dry, uh, romantic, anything really? Her love life? It's lively as ever. They're like two years married. And she didn't notify me if it was going dry or anything. But she seemed really stressed out at work. She would often mess up orders and have to refund people money. I think it's the pregnancy. It's probably bothering her mind a lot. I see. Thank you for your time, miss. I will make sure to refund you all the money. And bless your soul. Come on, idiot. Who are you calling idiot? Because I know it's not me. Thank you so much for having us, Mr. Adams. You don't know how much this helps our search for your wife. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience of no chair for you to sit. I sh I I'll go pull up another one right now. So... I see you have a thing for Agent Albino. What? No, I don't. That be against the rules. Dirty Blonde. I've known you for about three years on this team force. And I've seen for three years you've liked Agent Albino. I do not. I was a rookie and he trained me. And now he's with Agent Redhead. Huh. And there it is. The jealousy I hear in your voice. It's more than your normal tone. Shut up. Is it really that obvious? I... I don't think he likes me. I... I think he has a thing for Redhead. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no. Albino absolutely hates that girl. He's only training her. You're still in the game, sweetie. <sighs> Here's the most comfortable chair I could find. I'm sorry if it, if you get a stiff neck, I, I, I'm sorry. But here you go. No, it's uh, very comfortable, thank you. Now, if you could take a seat and we'll just ask you some questions about your wife. Yes, of course. Ask away, please. I hope to get out anything, anything that can help me find my lost love and my baby. Alright. So you said she was taken from you in your sleep. And no, no, no footprints, no nothing. 
she was just gone. Correct. I'm, I'm afraid she saw her. I'm, I'm so, so sad I didn't wake up. I couldn't hear them. I could have, I could have protected her, but I didn't. It's, oh, I, I'm sorry. Oh no, Mr. Adams, this is totally not your fault. It's no one's fault. It's just some sick dude's fault. Now, can you describe your wife's emotional state? She, she was very happy. During our late months, she was energetic. She, she was happy with me and our child growing inside of her. She was just, it gave her more energy. She didn't seem to have stress at all. I was the one who was stressing with baby clothes and the crib and the color of the room and everything, you know? Okay, all right. Can you please tell us how far into the pregnancy she was before she got abducted? She was, she was about, I want to say, on the edge of nine months. Oh God, she could have had the baby already without me. And I'm here, she's, oh God. I, I want to say we had about three or two weeks left and making me so nervous. Okay, okay, calm down. It's quite alright. I assure you, we will get her back into your arms safely with the baby. No one will be harmed. Oh, my terrible apologies. How can you eat those cookies without some water or milk? I'll, I'll be right back right away. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'll be right back. There's a the little guy, isn't he? Then again, who would it be if their wife just got catnapped? Albino texted me. This is important. He never does that when we're on duty. Oh. Okay, got it. What did he say? What's up? Are you two dating now? Are you in love? Oh snap, the shades are on. It's about to go down. I bought a bottle of green tea for you. I hope you enjoy it. It's the only thing I have in the fridge. I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't shop for groceries during this, this stressful thing, you know? Why are you stressed? Michelle was the one who was stressed. In fact, I don't think she even wanted this baby. Well, what are you talking about? We both wanted it. She was the one who pressed me for it. Apparently, that's not what multiple co-workers and friends say. They said she was stressful during these months. She often couldn't work because of it. Now, what does that sound different from your happy and energetic? They don't know her like I do. I know what's going on with her. They don't. Hmm. Co-workers say that you came in and told them that she would be absent and there was nothing to worry about because you guys were expecting the baby. Oh, and what do you look? That same night, you reported that she went missing. Hmm. Now, why do these stories sound different? Are you saying I forcefully kidnapped my own wife? You're kidding, right? I would never do anything to hurt Michelle like that. Sorry, Mr. Adams. But you're under arrest. We'll take you back to interrogation. Now come on. We'll have to break out the cuffs. I will follow you, but I did not do anything to hurt her. I could only hope you didn't hurt her, Adams. Now, come on. Yep. Hop to it. Come on, let's go.